Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's royal makeover, we are going to be giving a royal makeover to the Villarreal royal family. And y'all, the backstory I have for this family, I am so excited to tell you. It is rather dark, but so was their story when The Sims originally gave them to us. So just hang in there. But first, I wanna talk about the family and the looks. So I did know a little bit about the family beforehand, like I've heard things, it's hard to ignore when you find out that the lore is that the dad possibly killed their mother and that the youngest son is evil. So that's all I knew. I did not realize the dad was an elder and I didn't realize his traits. I thought he was evil. I know Max is evil, but I thought that Jacques was also evil, but he does have the dastardly trait from his aspiration. So, I am taking a more evil route with him, and I had to give him an evil mustache, as you guys can see. Honestly, because this family is mostly males, I didn't have too much trouble picking outfits for them. I didn't go like super, super extra with the outfits. However, I did base them off of the royal family of Spain. And I had a few uniforms and outfits that I used. If I were to play them in my own game as a royal family, I know they're from Winnenberg because of the get together pack and that's what they came with. But if I were to play them in my save, I would probably make them the royal family of Tartosa. Um, so I kind of just based their looks off of that. Some of the royal makeovers I have done in the past I did go really, really extra with, and I will link all the ones I've done in the past below, but specifically like the goth family and the Calientes, I had a lot of fun going extra with them, but I figured I would keep it more simplified slash current, nothing too out there with their outfits because their story is out there so, so much. So, all right, backstory time. All right, we know Jacques is evil. He is the king currently, but I imagined that his wife was the reigning queen. Her family was the royalty. Like she inherited the title from her family. Jacques married into the family and then killed his wife because he wanted to be the acting monarch. So the kids are currently not of age to be crowned yet. I know that Luna and Hugo are twins and it's not confirmed who's older, but since Luna is kind of first in everything, I'm going to assume that she is older. So therefore she is the heir. I was going to, okay, hang tight. So I figured he killed his wife so he could be the current acting monarch until his kids became of age. But I thought, what if he was plotting to kill his kids before they became of age? So next would be Luna and Hugo because they are very close to becoming young adults and therefore would be crowned and he would have to kill both of them. So if I were to play this at my save, it would be so dark and that's what I would do. And I was thinking, Maybe, maybe he had also originally planned to kill Max when he became older as well, but because Max is evil and Jock is not gonna live forever, maybe he realizes and sees himself in Max and therefore realizes his potential and maybe he starts training him to be the next monarch for when Jock goes, or maybe he would find a way so he wouldn't be able to be monarch when, like, when Max becomes of age, because obviously that would happen, and technically it's not in Jock's blood to become the monarch. What if, though, while he was training Max, Max becomes more selfish than he already was, and he ends up being the one to kill Jacques. I feel like it would happen that way. I'm not 100% sure, but then I'm thinking, I'm like, wow, if I did this story, all the bad guys would win. So let me know what you guys would do, please, because I'm like, I, I, I feel bad for Luna and Hugo, but I'm like, I can see this going that way. I mean, of course, there could also be the way where they realize what their dad is doing and then they decide to somehow overthrow him so they can actually be the reigning monarch, which would be Luna, I guess, if she is the oldest. And then they would have to deal with Max, though, because Max is evil, and I feel like he would try to overthrow his siblings. So, 
I would love to know what you guys would do in the comments below. This family, because of the backstory they were given and because of all the unknown, it's just very mysterious and I feel like it has so much potential. I love doing these townie makeovers because it just is kind of like a what if sort of situation and some of their stories I feel like are so, so crazy. Also, I did have a lot of fun with Luna's outfit and of course I spent the most time on her. I just happened to spend the most time on the females. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Luna and Hugo, they actually look so sweet. Uh, they're, Luna's beautiful, who, Hugo, oh my gosh, I can't talk. Hugo is so cute. He looks so baby, like his face looks so squishy, you guys will see. Max looks evil. You guys will see that at the end of this as well. And of course we have Jacques with his evil mustache. I had to give it to him, I just had to. Anyway, that's it for this makeover. This is a wild one. I just could not wait to tell you guys my backstory idea. I am planning on doing other royal makeovers for the other families in the future. I did get some great suggestions in the previous videos, but if there's any other suggestions you guys have, feel free to let me know. I know people mentioned the Ito. Someone mentioned the best friends household, so I'll have to try to figure that out. I think people mentioned the Fungs. I know there would just be two of them. But um, yeah, maybe I, I know that we also have some new families and new townies that came with the new packs. So maybe I'll look into that as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are enjoying these royal makeovers. I love doing these. And I know since I'm only able to get out video about once a month, it can be hard to do. But I am working on the next royal family episode for those of you who watch. But I should have the royal family episode and it's going to be a big one. It should be out in August, either mid-August or the end of August. But I will have some pictures at the end here too. I hope you guys have a great day or night or wherever you are in the world and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!